Cloud chambers are used to visualise the paths taken by ionising radiation and can be impressive to watch. The type of chamber most commonly used in schools and colleges is the diffusion cloud chamber. This type of chamber works very well but does require dry ice for operation. The first type of chamber ever used was actually an expansion cloud chamber. This type of chamber, although slightly more complicated than the diffusion cloud chamber, does not require dry ice for operation. It can therefore be more practical to use at home. I made this cloud chamber from an empty caviar jar. To the left of the jar is a lamp to make the tracks easier to see. The lamp and the jar are mounted on a tufnel board and two pieces of wood. When ionising radiation particles pass through a cloud chamber, they cause the air to become charged. The alcohol vapour in the chamber condenses along these tracks. Inside the jar near the top is a grounded wire loop. Below the loop is a metal platform that is connected to a 150 volt DC supply. This sets up an electrostatic field between the wire loop and the platform. This field sweeps away old charges and is essential for operation. The platform is covered with black felt to improve the contrast and also to provide something to hold the isopropyl alcohol. Mounted on the platform is an alpha emitting source which is about 1 microcurie. The felt is moistened with isopropyl alcohol which quickly evaporates and reaches saturation. When the pressure is suddenly dropped by adiabatic expansion the air becomes supersaturated. Droplets then form along the paths of ionization produced by the alpha particles. The expansion is achieved by withdrawing the plunger of a 50 milliliter syringe which is connected to the chamber by a length of hose. After applying the alcohol the lamp is switched on and then the electrostatic field. These expansions are at half speed. The source is on the right. 